Hello, this is Scott. So uh, today I'm going to be talking about uh, Statistica. In fact, the next few sessions will be on Statistica, Enterprise, and SDMS. Um, if you have an interest in another platform, uh, stick with me and I'll definitely get back to those as well. Um, but today we're going to talk about specifically setting up a new account in Enterprise with Enterprise Read Access only. So right now I'm logged in to Statistica as an admin. So if I go to Enterprise Manager um, and then I go to um, um, actually user administration here, I can see that under users I have different different users here in the groups and I have different groups as, as well so I can assign permissions. But simply what we want to do today is create a new user and we're going to create a new user called Jane uh, Jane Doe user. <laughs> okay, and so Jane Doe. And I'm going to give her a temporary password as administrator. Confirm that password. But you'll see here I have this checkbox um, right here. Let me just expand. I have this checkbox that they must, must change their password on the first login. And so I'm assigning her uh, the way I assign pretty much everyone within the organization um, with with uh, specific rights, base level rights. However, I'm not assigning her access to Enterprise itself. So I'm going to press commit to actually create that account. And um, then I'm going to go ahead and log out as administrator. Uh, and then I'm going to come back in as Jane Doe, if you've done this before, if I click Statistica and then hold down the shift control key, I should get a login, an empty login. So I'm going to type in Jane Doe user and with the password that the administrator gave me, I'm going to click OK and sure enough, I'm going to be forced to change my password. Now the administrator does not know what user um, password I have. And then I'm going to launch Statistica. You'll notice under the enterprise option here, this is grayed out for manager itself. However, I can see down here on the left panel, I can see the objects that have been created by my organization. So essentially I have read access to these objects. So if I click view edit here, I get this workspace that's been created and saved in Enterprise. Now I can save this off into, do a save as and save into um, my local directory. I just can't deploy to Enterprise. So if I try to hit deploy, I'm going to get an error that I don't have the necessary permissions to do that. Obviously I can request those um, from my administrator. So, I want to keep it short in these in these next few videos hopefully that's meaningful to you and you will join me again soon